today I'm gonna show you how to make this bracelet. This is called the Rotini bracelet. I personally think it's a really fun one to make because the process is so much fun and it's not that difficult. This is what you need. A rainbow loom, a hook, a C or an S clip, 34 black rubber bands, and rubber bands in the colors of the rainbow. For this, I used six red, orange, and yellow rubber bands, and three green, blue, dark blue, purple, and pink rubber bands. Make sure that the three rows on your loom are offset, that the middle row is closest to you, and that the opening of the pins is facing away from you. Grab your first rubber band. We're starting with the color black on the bottom peg of the middle row. Put your rubber band on that peg and stretch it out to the first peg of the right row. Make sure to push it down a little bit and then grab your next rubber band. Now we're starting on the pin that we just left off on and we're going straight up to the next pin above it. Let's do that again. So grab another black rubber band and starting on the pin that we just left off on, stretch it over the peg right above it. It helps to push them down a little bit and then you wanna continue doing the same step over and over and over all the way to the very last peg. You may need to pause the video and then play it again once you're ready for the next step. Once you've done all the black rubber bands on the right row, go ahead and grab your next black rubber band. Then we're starting on the middle row starting on the very bottom peg of the middle row. Then we stretch our rubber band up to the peg above it. And we keep doing that all the way to the very last peg. Once again, go ahead and pause this video until you finish this entire row and you're ready for the next step. Awesome, welcome back. We're on the very last peg of this middle row. So I'm grabbing another black rubber band and I'm starting on the last peg of the middle row and stretching that band over the last peg of the right row. Now it's time to grab another black rubber band and we're going to close off this last peg on the right row by folding this rubber band in half, but we gotta do it in a special way. So go ahead and put the band over two fingers, stretch it out, then flip it into an infinity symbol and put it back over itself. There you go. Now we can take this rubber band and put it over the last peg on the right row. You don't need to stretch it over any other peg, so just go ahead and let it sit there on its own. Now it's time to push all the rubber bands down as far as you can. This way, it'll be easier to add more rubber bands on top. Yay, how exciting! We're gonna get started on the colorful rubber bands now. Go ahead and grab your first color, but make sure you have three rubber bands of that same color. I'm gonna start on the second peg of the middle row. So I grab the three bands and lay them right on top of that peg. And now I grab my hook. This way, it's gonna be much easier to work with these three rubber bands. So make sure that you put all three of them in your hook and stretch them out to the second pin on the right row. Not only do we stretch it, we also twist it upside down and then we continue twisting it so your hook is facing right side up again. Now you wanna put it over the second peg on the right row. It's gonna be a little bit difficult, but you can do it. Here I'm using my fingers to hold the rubber bands in place and then I'm able to place the bands without letting them fall out of my hook. Now it's time for your next color. I'm using orange because I'm choosing to do the colors of the rainbow. Make sure that you have three bands of the same color and go ahead and put it on the next peg in your middle row. Then stretch them out with your hook and twist it all the way around. This is a half twist, but we're gonna continue twisting a little more. There you go. Continue stretching it and putting it over the next peg on your right row. That's it, you're doing amazing. I know it's a little bit finicky, but it's definitely doable. I'm gonna show you one more time. So go ahead and grab your next color. I'm going for yellow. And of course, make sure that you have three of the same bands. Put it on the next peg in the middle row, stretch it out with your hook, twist it around, not halfway, but a full way, and then stretch it over the next peg on your right row. Definitely don't be afraid to use your fingers to keep the bands in place as you stretch out the bands over your peg. Now we're gonna continue doing the same thing, but go up a peg each time. Of course, I picked the colors of the rainbow, so I'm using all these colors that I showed you in the beginning, but if you're using different colors, then it might be helpful if you lay them out ahead of time. And now that I'm finished with the last color of my rainbow, I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning color again, which is red. Then we're going on to orange and yellow, of course. Make sure that you end your project on the second to last pegs of the middle and right row. All right, it looks like it's time for the next step. So grab your loom and twist it around so that the opening of the pegs are facing towards you. Now we're going to start looming with the hook on the bottom pin of the left 
row. Remember when we put this double looped band on here? It's very important that you put your hook inside of those two bands, then grab the third band from the top with your hook, pull it up through the middle of the bands and stretch it over to the first peg of the middle row. There we go, we looped our first bands. It may be a little bit confusing at first, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Now we're gonna continue looming the entire middle row. It may help to push the top two bands out of the way first. You wanna bring the bottom band of each peg up through the middle and then stretch it out over the peg that's right above it. Be careful with these steps because you wanna make sure that none of the bands flip off of your loom. Now it's time to work on that peg that you just ended up on. You basically want to bring the bottom black rubber band through the middle of all the other bands. In this case, they are yellow, so it's easy to recognize. Go ahead and pull it up through the middle and stretch it out over to the peg right above it. You might be able to guess what the next step is. Right, we're going to go to the pin that you just ended up on then push the colored bands out of the way so we can hook on to the very bottom black band. We bring it up through the middle of all the bands and stretch it out over the peg right above it. I think it's starting to become more clear now, but I wanna show you one more time. So I'm going to put my hook in the middle of the next peg, then I'll grab onto the black band on the bottom, I pull it up through the middle of the bands, and then I stretch it out over the next peg on top of it. Keep repeating this pattern until you reach the very end of the loom. I put the second to last black band onto the last peg of the middle row and now we're gonna move on to the next row. It's the one to the left. We're starting on the first peg of the left row. There's only two black bands on this one. So push the top band out of the way with your hook and pull the bottom band through the middle and then stretch it over the peg on top of it. I'm sure you recognize the pattern by now, but it's important to note that there were only two bands on this peg. Now we're gonna go do the same thing that we did on the middle row, which is push all the top bands out of the way, pull the very bottom black band, pull it through the middle, and then stretch it over the peg on top of it. And I explained this process on the middle row already, so I'm sure you know it by now. If not, you could just go back to the video and check it again to make sure that you're doing it correctly. Now continue this process on the left row all the way to the very last peg. There we are! We've connected everything on the middle row and everything on the left row, but we haven't connected these last two rows. So we're gonna make sure that we grab the black band that's on the left peg, pull it through the middle, and then stretch it over to the one on the right. This was an important step or else your bracelet will fall apart. But now it's time to take it off the loom. Since we haven't finished it off yet, it is important to be careful. So go ahead and put your hook through the middle of all the bands on the last peg of the middle row. Put your hook out to the side so you can put on a black band. Then you want to go ahead and pull it through all the bands on this last peg, but don't pull the entire black band through. You can hold onto it with your fingers. Then you want to put the side that you're holding onto the hook, and now it's safe to take the entire bracelet off your loom. Again, be careful because the rubber bands may snap off. It's better to be slow and steady because you don't want all your hard work to go to waste. I prefer to not pull the entire bracelet off by my hook. Instead, I just like to peel them off one by one with my fingers. And a tip is to push the last black band that's on your hook further onto your hook, onto the thick part. That way it won't slip off as easily, because if it does, you may lose your entire bracelet. I'm speeding up this footage because I think you get the point. But again, it's better to pause this video and not try to rush it and make sure that you keep your bracelet intact. Wow, we got the hardest part of the bracelet over with. This is the backside, and it truly does look like a backside, so you don't want to wear it on that side. But the front looks awesome. However, as you can tell, it doesn't quite fit around my wrist yet. So now we gotta finish up the last part of the bracelet. Let's go grab the loom again, and turn it so that the middle row is the closest to you. Also, make sure that the opening of the pegs are facing away from you, and grab your first black band. We are going to put it on the first peg of the right row, and then we stretch it out over the second peg of the right row. Then grab a new band, put it on the second peg, and stretch it over the third one, then a new band from the third to the fourth, etc. For my wrist, I'm using six black bands in total, but for your wrist, you might need more or less bands. 
Your bracelet is still on the hook, of course, and now we're going to connect the bracelet with the pieces on the loom. We want to take it off the hook. Remember, it's one black band that's folded double, and make sure that you grab both sides. And then we want to stretch it over the very last peg that you have a black band on. And now it's time to turn your loom again. Make sure that the opening of the pegs are facing towards you. We're gonna start linking all the black bands together. So on the first peg, make sure that you push the top two bands away and then pull the bottom band up through the middle, stretch it over to the next peg. You're gonna do the same thing on this next peg. Make sure that you grab the bottom black band with your hook, pull it up through the middle and stretch it over the next peg. We're going to keep continuing this chain all the way to the very end. This way we're chaining all the bands together and it's making our bracelet longer. It's a very simple and straightforward process. Now once we have reached the very last peg, you want to grab these last two bands on the peg and stretch it over one on the right. It doesn't really matter which one, but I find the second to the last one the easiest. Now it'll be easy to connect your C or your S hook. You can clip it on the band like this and make sure that you have fully connected it. You can kind of test it around by stretching it. And then it's time, and it's safe, to pull all these bands off of your loom. There it is! Wow, it looks absolutely awesome and gorgeous. Make sure that you connect one side of your bracelet to the other side of your bracelet with your S or C clip. It's really easy, just stretch out the band on the other side and clip it in. And then it's time to wear it! I'm so proud of this and I think the spiral is so amazing and pretty. I hope yours turn out just as good and let me know in the comments below which colors you picked.